The solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse have been known to affect weather patterns. The recent events with the solar eclipse, hurricanes, and lunar eclipse have only fueled that notion. This change in weather patterns can impact our health in a variety of ways. Shortage of fresh drinking water, widespread diseases, trash disposal, fresh food and water shortages, electricity and power grids being disrupted, price increases, medicine shortages. These are all impacts of extreme weather, which have been hard hitting in the USVI after two Category 5 hurricanes. My name is Costas Alexandridis, I'm uh, the director of the uh, Institute for Geocomputational Analysis Statistics here at uh, uh, Geocast. I'm also having a joint appointment between the Center for Marine and Environmental Studies uh, at UVI and the Department of Computational and Computer Sciences here. Um, my background uh, is, is quite interesting. I, I was born and raised in Greece. I finished college in uh, uh, agriculture, environmental economics, uh, and I have a master's in, on environmental economics and rural sociology, uh, and also a PhD in natural resource, resource policy from uh, Purdue University. A lot of my work is focused on uh, studying the relationship between our natural environment and our human societies. Uh, this kind of uh, area of research is known by different names. So one is a linked uh, social ecological systems or uh, coupled human and natural systems. So the, the whole idea is to, to study how um, changes in our physical environment affect our societies and how decisions and, and uh, uh, actions that are made at the individual and societal level linked back to to changes in our in our natural environment and in order to study such interactions it's um, imperative to start looking at the complexity of those interactions so a lot of my work has to do with with a statistical and mathematically uh, analyzing complex systems and uh, the way that components of those systems interact with each other. Citizen Science for Water Quality at the University of the Virgin Islands, students in the Water Ambassador Program, as well as the Water Quality Ambassador Program, have taken part in working to determine safe drinking water for cisterns, wells, and communities across the territory. The project is designed as a partnership project with EPA, Citizen Science, USDA, Distance Education, and USDA with the University of the Virgin Islands and the University of Puerto Rico at Mayaguez. Researchers are working on these projects collaboratively as an outreach project as a way to help the community stay safe. Questions we ask in focus groups that we hold include is water safe? Is it safe to drink? Will you get sick if you swim in the sea post storms and or hurricanes? The Water Ambassador and Water Quality Ambassador Program would like to thank USDA NIFA, USDA Water, in collaboration with the University of Puerto Rico at Mayaguez, Athos, Territories Health and Climate Grant, the Community Foundation of the Virgin Islands, the Virgin Islands Department of Education, the Virgin Islands Department of Health, Virgin Islands Department of Health and Human Services, Virgin Islands Department of Agriculture, 
in collaboration and cooperation with the University of the Virgin Islands, Cooperative Extension Service, Water Ambassador Program, and the Water Quality Ambassador Program.